should look at these tonight too because there's a lot of pyramidellas we're talking about inside. I think uh, we'll see, the, we'll see the problem. Yeah. We get in a tank. Uh, we had, I think these produced, but we usually didn't get enough eggs. We would get eggs, but not enough. So um, I think the two the two best spawnings this time were natural spawnings spontaneous after we left the uh, serotonin for about two weeks. So I guess Jerry's uh, Jerry's method there is uh, still works. Yeah. It's significant well. though, we had some controls over there which we never injected and we wanted to get a shot of plant spawning. We injected one of them and got masses of eggs from it with serotonin. So it looks as though they can sit and they can nonetheless sit somewhere out and not spawn. That's right. And But with a serotonin injection, you, if you get the yeah, whatever it is that's right, it's not predictable, but you can get, you can then induce spawning. Well, that's what I, that's what I found. Absorb the eggs and, and perhaps uh, use that energy again to set up the new, um, the new gonad full of, full of uh, ova. These have, these are the ones that have been in here since October. The previous batch are offshore, and uh, the gonad did not look very developing even in in uh, October when we started. So. Maybe leaving them in a tank like this for that period of time is not not very good for their reproductive condition. Perhaps I think several people have been trying to collect eggs in the field after serotonin. Some of it's done. Yeah. You just get and them into a plastic bag. Use the bag. Yeah, that, that's what you're doing. Yeah. Do you still do that now? Yeah. Yeah. We do that on land, but in fact, it's conceivable. It's just easier to work here to have them on hand to test them in the afternoon. But it's quite now because it gives us a sample even in the winter time and in the early spring when the gonad is developing. You don't get much of a sample with the biopsy needle. Um, I guess it probably it probably sucks a bit of... I think basically what it does is start them going and uh, if, if one is very ripe, well sure, it'll, it, it'll spawn. I think we might want to move around we'll some other little. tanks. So. Yeah. You know, air conditioners are not sort of uh, a regular, regularly available thing. So there's no air, there's perhaps no skill with air conditioning units to service them and that kind of thing. So if we could get away from our culturing, uh, then that's a quite a, a it, it makes this the hatchery work uh, uh, accessible to more areas. Yeah. You're putting a hatchery. You're putting this type of room into the Solomon. Uh, I think you put as an air conditioning cupboard. <laughs> uh, what we've done is reduce everything massively, so the air conditioning part of the land is extremely small. Um, that's mainly because of power supply.